Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, let's have some more super duper crafting fun. Stay tuned. Thank you everyone for stopping by today and checking out the channel or coming back because you liked what you saw the last time that you were here. And thank you so much to those of you who have subscribed to my channel. But for those of you who are here right now and haven't subscribed, I would be honored if you would hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you will know when I upload a new video. We are taking paper crafting to a whole new level on this channel, and that is what you are in for today. We are going to make something oh so fun and oh so useful. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that button and hit the notification bell as well. And guys, I said it was going to be stinking special because it is. We are going to make a stinking cute paper wallet, and it is going to cost us pennies to make but you can turn around and fill it with money, notes, gift cards, just ephemera, whatever you want to put in it. It truly is multi-functional. And I'm going to open this up so that you can see what we have here. So we actually have a couple of pockets. So we have this larger pocket here that you can actually, if you wanted to make this an ephemera wallet, you could. You could tuck your ephemera in here, or if you want it to really send stacks of cash, you could tuck that in here as well. So many different things that you can tuck in this section. Then we have a pocket here at the bottom. So if you wanted to put those gift cards or you want it to tuck cash in this section here, you could do that as well. Cash is always appreciated. So the more you load this up with cash, the more the person receiving it is going to be grateful. And then at the top, I've added a little section here where you can write your quick little personal um, note. Now, as I always say, any season, any reason, any gender, guys, I have made this for Christmas and the one I'm making today will be for Christmas. But you don't have to make yours a Christmas wallet. Once you swap out the papers, this truly becomes an all occasion gift. There is not a function out there for which something like this would not be suitable. A christening, a wedding, whatever it is, there's paper for it and you can turn that paper into this beautiful paper wallet that you can send or hand off or drop into a stocking. Completely up to you. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. As in previous crafts, I am using the poster board from the Dollar Tree that measures 11 by 14 and I am going to be able to get two of those wallets from one piece of this poster board. So I can get eight wallets from one piece of poster board. So you're going to need a piece of this. You're going to take a whole piece, cut it down in half, and you will have an 11 by seven piece that we'll be working with. And that is what I have right here. Then we're going to need a whole bunch of littles that will cover this in cuteness. So I have my little writing section and this measures two by four and then I have a mat for it and that measures two and one eighth by four and one eighth. Then I have a little border strip that I'll be putting on the outside. This measures half an inch by six and seven eighths. And then I have a topper for the inside that measures one and a half by six and seven eighths. Then I have an inside pocket that measures two by six and seven eighths. Then I have my large pocket piece that measures nine and seven eighths by three. All right, guys, so we're going to need some mats to cover the white space on our paper. And you are going to need two pieces that measure three and three eighths by six and seven eighths. You'll need two pieces that measure three and seven eighths by six and seven eighths. And you'll need two pieces that measure three and a half by six and seven eighths. So the first thing that we'll be doing, we're going to bring in our white poster board that's cut to 11 by 7. We're going to make our first score at 3.5. Our second score will be at 7.5. And, and those are all of the scores that we're going to make. 
So now we're going to fold and burnish all of our scores. And you're going to be left with this. Now the way I have mine, the panel that I measured at three and a half by six and seven eighths, that's going to be the bottom. So we're going to start with the top, placing this down. So your white space here should be three and three eighths by six and seven eighths. So I'm going to find my mat that measures three and three eighths by six and seven eighths. And that's the one that I am going to put down. Now, if you want more white space showing, you can trim away some of your mat, but I am going to leave mine as is. So I'm running tape along the back. Then I'll take this piece and I am going to bring it all the way up to the score mark, but not touching the score mark. And then I'll just smooth that out. And then I'll take my piece that measures three and seven eighths by six and seven eighths, and we're going to place that one down. And I am just going to run my tape along this piece. You can use your double stick tape if you want. I'm just using my tape runner. And then when I place it down, I'm going to try to make sure that my stripes are going in the same direction. So when I place this, I am placing it so that I am within my score marks. And then I'll take my last piece and this piece measures three and a half by six and seven eighths. And I'm going to place it down using my tape. And then I will take this piece Match it to that one. And we will go ahead and get it stuck down. And what I'm going to do, because I want to break that up just a little bit, I am going to take this piece that I cut that measures six and seven eighths by half an inch, and we are going to place that down. I am just going to run some tape along the back. Then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to place it just like this. And the reason why I'm placing it like this, I cut it short because I do want some of that white border showing. So now that I have that piece down, you can see how that acted as a little breakup of the candy cane. So now we are going to do the same thing on the inside, I am going to find my piece that measures three and three eighths by six, and I'm going to place tape and place it down. On this piece that measures three and three eighths by six and seven eighths. And just like before, I will take this piece I am going to bring it close to my score mark. And I'm going to place it down. Then I'll use my spatula and just get it stuck. And now I'll take my piece that measures three and seven eighths by six and seven eighths. And I'll take my tape and just put tape on the back of this one. Now we can take this one. Again, I want to try to match up my pattern as close as I can. I'm not going to obsess over it though, because I know that I'm not going to be able to get it perfect. So then I'll put it down like that. Then I'll take my third one and we're going to place it down just like that. I am going to add my tape. This one place down and I'll bring it close to my score but not all the way up to the mark and then I'll lay it down 
Okay, so now that we have this, we are ready to start doing what we need to do on the inside. So what I'm going to do is I am going to work with my piece that measures nine and seven eighths by three. And I'm going to bring in my scoreboard and on the nine and seven eighths inch side, I am going to score at half an inch, at one and at one and a half. Half an inch, I'll rotate it to the opposite nine and seven eighths inch side, score at half an inch, one and one and a half. And then I'm going to take this, fold it in like that. Then I'll do an accordion fold, get that nice and crisp. And then I'll bring this one back and get it nice and crisp. What I'm really trying to avoid is having any of those folds coming out over the edge. So let's do it on this side. We're going to fold it in, give it a burnish, fold it that way, give it a good burnish, fold it like this, and give it a good burnish. So I am going to take this piece and just fold it in half. And this piece measures two by six and seven eighths. I was going to trim it down, but I'm not. So we're taking our six and seven eighths by two inch piece, folded it in half. And now we'll have a topper that is one by six and seven eighths on both sides. So I am just adding some tape to my topper. I am going to bring this in. Probably should have measured it before I put it down, but it seems to fit. So I'm going to take this, measure yours before you put it in, just to make sure that you have the right fit. So I am taking this and just placing it down, just like that. And we'll smooth it out. Then we're going to place it on the inside, just like this. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to do it with glue. So I am going to take my glue, and the first thing that I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to place some glue right there, and then I'm going to place some glue right in there. So glue right here, and glue in there. And then we're going to take our glue and run it along the bottom, and then we'll run glue along this flap here, our outer flap. So just run yourself some glue then we're going to take this, get our hands just a little bit gluey, and we're going to place it down to cover up that inside piece. So I can straighten that just a little, make sure that that bottom is going to close. And if it feels like it's not closing easily, just slide your pocket up a little bit and then I'm going to use my paper towel just to clean up some of that glue. And I'll use my big old spatula just to work that down. Then we're going to have a little opening right there. And I am just going to take a little bit of glue, place that and pinch it to keep it closed. So you'll still have a nice accordion pocket, but it'll have a lot of control to it. So we have our inside that looks like this. Now we are going to add a pocket to the bottom that looks like that. But I also want to add this piece as my bottom topper. So I'm just going to take this piece which measures one and a half by six and seven eighths. And I am just going to fold it in half or close to half. Then I'm going to take my glue and just go ahead and place some glue. I could have used my tape, but I happen to have my glue. And then I'm just going to take this piece and it measures again, one and a half by six and seven eighths. And I am going to put it on this bottom pocket, which is two by six and seven eighths. And I'll just smooth that out. I have a little bit of overhang, so I am going to come back and just trim that. Then I can take this piece, add some glue to the back, 
create my sweet little pocket. Then I'll take this and I am just going to get it placed right at the bottom. Slide it over just a little. And then I'll use my spatula just to make sure that I have a nice stick. So now we have this and we are rocking and rolling. So I am going to take this piece and this piece and that is what I am going to use at the top so I am going to put this down with tape and this piece measures two by four and I'm mounting it to my mat which measures two and an eighth by four and an eighth so I am going to add my tape this piece and we are going to place it right there I need to pick it up just to make sure I'm getting it straight so now we have the mechanics of this completed and we are going to do some really fun really easy decorating and to decorate y'all I am just going to use stickers Y'all know how much I love crafting with stickers because I think that they just add so much cuteness and they're so quick. Such a quick and easy way to decorate. So I am using this sticker sheet from Authentique and it is called A Magical Christmas. And I did get this when I took my road trip to um, Scrapbook Creations in Spartanburg, South Carolina. So I am just going to add a few stickers because I want to create just a little cuteness on my wallet here so I placed a couple of stickers there a sticker there and I think I'm going to go ahead and place a sticker right here and it says be good for goodness sake then what I'm going to do is just come to the outside of my sweet little paper wallet here so then what I'm going to do guys is I want to place this sweet Santa on the outside. So I'm just going to trim him out and then I'll mount him probably to a scrap piece of red paper. If I can find a scrap piece. So let's just get him removed Then we'll be able to place him down. I was going to mount him to a piece of red, but I think he pops better on white. So I am going to take my tape runner, place him down with a little white border around him. And then I am just going to do a trim out. I'm not stressing over straightness. I am just trimming this out. And now we have our sweet little Santa. So I am going to take him and I am going to put him on here at an angle. Now, if you wanted to place this in an envelope, you need to find an envelope large enough to be able to fit yours if you angle him. For mine, I am just going to place him down. And this would be one that I would tuck in a stocking or I would do an actual handoff to the recipient. So I am now going to just cut myself a small piece of twine, tie a cute little bow, just like this. And then I'll take this and I'm just going to put it up top just like that. But I am going to go ahead and add my glue to that spot. Then I'll take my twine bow and just lay it down in the glue and hold it until it catches, which won't be long. 
Okay guys, so the glue is dry and I am just trimming off a little bit of that twine because I didn't want as much. And the way that I would actually close this is I would close it with Velcro dots. I don't have any more Velcro dots, so I haven't added anything to close it. You could close yours with a belly band. I have some more um, Velcro dots on the way. So once they arrive, I'll be able to just place a small Velcro dot here and secure it just like that. If you want it, you could take your small magnets and put those on there as well. So I am going to bring the first one back in so that y'all can see so easy to make these super simple little paper wallets. And you can take your money or ephemera, whatever you want to put and tuck it in this pocket because you've got plenty of room and plenty of stretchiness to that pocket to be able to put you know, something of depth in the pocket. Then you have a pocket here where you can take your gift card, place it here. You can take cash, place it in here, whatever you want to do with that pocket. And then of course you have your space so that you can write your greeting or sentiment. Totally up to you. But these are so super easy and so stinking cute y'all. And as we go into the holiday seasons, regardless of the holiday that you celebrate, if you wanted to give someone a little something, a token of appreciation, or if you wanted to hand this off to your postal worker or any of the essential workers that are keeping your countries running, this is a great way of being able to do that. So guys, I hope that you have liked this project. And if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys, stay safe, be kind, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye. Thank you.